Hello Adwebs, Max here. Today we're going to be looking at the update with Hydroid Prime. Puddle Prime is finally with us. Uh, now, Hydroid Prime has had a couple different uh, works to him. He got a little more energy and stuff like that, which quickly with that. Yeah, more armor, more energy, more shield. Just direct upgrade as Primes are. Um, and the aesthetic upgrade is like a thousand percent. Um, probably one of my favorite looking frames now. And he doesn't even have a skin. It's quite awesome. You can do quite a bit with very little work. Um, now, the other things that came out in this update were the Ballistica Prime and the Nami Skyla Prime. Now, Hydroid Prime to me is kind of paled in comparison to what the Ballistica Prime does by itself, but the Nami Skyla is a very comparable weapon. It's a very useful weapon. Um, and you get up to 100% status chance with all the dual stat mods, and putting condition overload on this actually works quite well, as it turns out. Um, again, I usually run Black and Corrosive, that's what I'm running on here. Uh, pressure Point, Fury. Condition overload and then healing return, um, just because it doesn't deal crazy, crazy amounts of damage, so you are able to hit, you know, proc your status chance and then hit a couple more times to get that healing in. Uh, Bliska Prime, just because of the way it works, doesn't really shoot too fast, um, so status really isn't really isn't useful in my opinion, and throwing a little bit of crit on there helps. Um, basically, I'm just going for pure damage on here, uh, multi shot damage and then crit damage and a little bit of heat just to help out um but the ballista prime pales everything else because the special effect that it has is on charge shots it will pull the enemy to your side and they will fight for you for about you know six seconds or eight seconds but the coolest thing about this, and I'll, I'll throw a quick chunk in there if I, I don't think I have enough of the scans of the Hayaka Masters. Um, but there's a really cool, I don't know if it's intended, probably not, but um, if you kill a Hayaka Master before they manage to spawn Hayakas, or while there are enough enemies around for them to want to spawn Hayakas, then they will spawn the Hayakas and they will remain on your side as Hayakas, not as ghosts. Uh, why didn't that work? So when you kill the Hayaka Master, it spawns the cats, usually about three or four. And I didn't really think anything of it. Um, but when I shot the one, I noticed there was a Hayaka that I couldn't kill. And I killed all the enemies around and... <laughs> everything was dead. Well, when I ended up going in into a mission with a friend of mine, she ended up noticing that, hey, you know what, your your cat's mark is ally. So I'm going to throw that clip in here. I got another one too. I got, um, crap. Did I just buy? Oh, Titania. As you can see there, that Hayaka clearly, clearly marks his ally, while the other one marks his enemy. Um, it's a great, great glitch, because as much as the Hayakas aren't really the greatest allies, um, they can't really do too much damage or whatever, but they are very good at running interference. Um, so you're able to do things like not die, which on Hydroid seems to be my biggest problem, um, even with his sort of ability upgrades. With the prime version, he does tend to die pretty quickly. I mean, these are level 20 enemies, and they manage to take me down pretty quick. Um, the other thing that is really cool with the Hydroid Prime, just to bring that up, is instead of water tentacles, you have tentacles that actually look like tentacles. Um, I'm currently in the process of ranking up and forming, so. My build isn't done yet, I don't have all the abilities unlocked. But 
this is what I'm working with right now, corroding barrage, definitely because of the way the rain works with the with the puddle now. Amazing, amazing, amazing augment. Uh, makes the strip armor, obviously, uh, when you cast your one. Um, here, I'm probably going to put Narrow Minded just because that duration for his for his four and his one are great. I mean, casting it, cast and forget. Um, range, I would definitely go for. Power Strength, I just have that there to kind of counteract and then give me a little bit positive for overextended. Um, efficiency, I don't really have a problem running out of energy with him. Um, so I don't really worry about efficiency. Um, the other thing that I really want to say is I'm happy that he got a little bit of love because he's he was in a bit of a weird place. Um, his ability to actually do scaling damage now, which is absolutely great. Um, it used to do finisher damage upon the initial kind of rework of him, but now it does impact, which I mean is, is much worse. But at the same time, I mean, you're not going to notice it because it is doing pretty good scaling. And then when you cast your rain, you can now you know, damage enemies in your puddle. So you, you can shred level 145 enemies, no problem. Um, and I'll link the other video I have there in the description as to death by puddle because it really shows you just the sheer power of those puddles now. Um, so yeah, Hydra Prime is out. Puddle... Puddle Master is actually a passable killer. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.